Guten Abend, alle miteinander. Welcome back to Tom Clay's Civilization VI for Absolute Beginners. We're back with the Germans. We're in the aftermath of a very, <laughs> very dangerous war, which we've actually come out of looking pretty good, so hopefully. So I'm basically thinking now, apart from possibly... Ooh, cool. Boost towards Reform Church, I see. Apart from possibly attacking Laventa, I'm also thinking about trying to build up the rest of the city, concerned about our science and our culture. It would be good to just improve things. So, let's see. Let's see where we're up to. Okay, we've obviously finished something. Memphis. Oh, Memphis has finished repairing their shrine. Which is great. Let's repair the monument as well, because repairs don't tend to take very long. Compared to the advantages that come with them. I'm going to tell the Pikeman unit to repair. So we're sort of gathering up around Laventa. But certainly not going to attack without fully repaired units. This one already. No, oh, no, they're moving the wrong way. There. Okay, you can fortify as well. Right. Tria has built us a siege tower, for which, well, to be honest, that will go best with pikemen, which have been built in Aachen. Built in Aachen. So, this wonder. Ooh, very interesting. I would really like to build that, but if we're going to build it anywhere, it should probably be in the capital. Assuming we can. Uh, what are our options for further attacks? Right, I'm actually going to build a warrior on the grounds that surely we will be <laughs> discovering a new form of basic melee unit soon. Okay. Settler, we're still going to move down here. Still keeping an eye on the English settler. I'm not too worried. I'm less worried than I'd normally be because we're doing a military campaign. Wherever they settle, or even if they don't settle, we can probably... Just... Yeah, just take them. Just attack them. Suddenly having some other terrible thoughts here. Assuming we don't care too much what people think of us, this settler's undefended. We could probably just take it like we did the builder. I mean, it's terrible behaviour. It'll mean instant war with London and it will probably make our name mud. Although we could always declare war on England first. I'm not ready for a war, really. But then the letter's proven to be rather a powerful ally. I did actually look up the Hansa and it's effectively an industrial zone. It's a replacement for an industrial zone. Right, need to fortify. Let's keep a very careful eye on this settler. Because honestly, stealing a settler from the English would give us quite a big advantage. Multi well, engineering gives us a bunch of new abilities. Okay, so we need to do some more more research. That's an interesting one. I'm actually, well, I'm partly wondering about printing, simply because 
we gain an advantage to our religion spread with printing because we went for that when we did the religion. On the other hand, I'm not immediately building harbours. So maybe cartography is a good option as well. I'll go for cartography for now. Because I do want to push our science a bit. Okay, so Memphis has finished repairing. Memphis actually now has some crossbows. So, if I'm willing to leave them with the crossbow, maybe I should focus on building ancient walls. So what do you reckon, Tom? War in England? Seriously thinking war in England. War in England are the free settler. Might end up regretting it, but... Do we even have some kind of truce with England? Haven't really looked into how these things work. Is interesting. I think it can declare a formal war. I suppose the only problem is that at the moment England are giving us money. But given that they've denounced us, that does actually give us a casus belly. Like a, a reason to declare war on them. So that's a potential advantage. Why wait for this settler to build a city themselves when we can just steal them and build our own? Now we need some iron. We desperately need some iron. Does Tomiris have... Ooh! Declare friendship, yes. Does Tomiris by any chance have spare iron? She doesn't. And she will not give us iron, no matter what we do. Which, I can totally understand, she only has one piece of iron available. So yeah, fair enough. Okay, a tria. What does an armoury do? Armoury will actually improve things even further. Right, yeah, okay, let's build an armoury. Let's move the siege tower to link up with the pikemen. I'm a little nervous about using warriors at the moment. Still, we can try. I just think they're going to be so far behind whatever London's feeling in terms of... Right. So, she's denounced us, start a war with England, declare war. Victoria is not amused. As far as I'm aware, she never actually said that in real life. She's famous for saying it, but I don't believe <laughs> it's actually true. Well, there you go. Right, so we have an unprotected builder, but hopefully we're going to get it to Cologne. Cologne, before we can uh, actually be attacked in any way. Obviously our decision to... Oh. Actually, we don't necessarily want to settle on the tobacco resource, do we? Okay. Let me just pause there for a sec. I 
just thinking at the moment our crossbowmen have. Oh, excellent. Zombie Wrist likes us. That is reassuring because I could really do with an ally. So, yeah, war with the English again. Really could do with constructing a hands in. Uh, brilliant. Right. Now I am thinking it would be great to build a terracotta army. Maybe it's not the best time. But we haven't built any wonders yet. So the wonders of the world, because civilization's kind of obsessed with buildings, wonders are a special type of building which give you a special bonus. Uh, the terracotta army, which of course in reality was Chinese. Okay. Risky. Right. I'm going to try and move that settler on their own over to there because I don't want to leave Mance undefended. I'll link you two up. So I want you to start heading towards London. I actually would like this catapult to stop heading towards London. What I'm hoping is that some of the English regiments will enter this plane and will effectively have a killing field. But we'll see. Plus this crossbowman can uh, heal up a bit. Okay, so our best place to go you guys are linked, because if you're not you should be, is probably here, I think. And you my friend, oh, yeah that's a pain, alright let's move you there for now, and I want this settler to build a city here I think. So they ironically might benefit from an aqueduct. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, production. Months. What should you be producing? Well, ancient walls are a very obvious one. Let's go ancient walls. Uh, no easy way around. Oh darn, someone else declared war. Ah, we're no longer suzerain of Zanzibar. Well, that's not a big problem. We'll try and get it back, of course, if we can, but I'm more concerned about the letter. Okay, build an improvement, a pasture. Ah, apparently that builder only had one use left. Never mind. Never mind. Still better in our hands than Egypt's. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm that concerned about Zanzibar, to be honest, because they're quite away from London. I think our main concern is making sure we keep hold of Valletta. So, okay. You, I want to found a city. And I want you to build... A crossbow man, predictably. You, I also want to found a city. Uh, you actually have a crossbow man already. So. Okay, you at least heal until fortified. So instead of building a crossbow man, I would like you to build ancient walls. So having come that far, ah, apologies, I don't think I am planning to settle anywhere near the Egyptians, so I may as well apologise and pretend to comply. Not seeing any sign of the letter actually moving towards...
attack which is upsetting that being the case I think it's looking like I'm gonna have to attack it myself which is fine we'll see what we can do if we discover that it's not going well we can either try to make peace or we can go on the defensive because they will at least have to come through the letter to get to us at which point the letter should make mid speed to the English uh, interesting right, Cleopatra is getting nervous my troops are actually just passing by I have no intention of attacking Egypt that is interesting no sign of the English army are they actually severely damaged? <sighs> okay then, tentatively we will move towards getting in range of London, I suppose. And start attacking them. Okay, that's not good news. Oh, of course, yeah, she's not going to be happy. We occupy Memphis. approach okay okay right so this is the crossbowman with the general so they're far more powerful than normal crossbowmen right I'm gonna leave the chariot at defending for now send envoy Hands uh, Eureka for castles, attainment complex, great writer. Okay, Stockholm is at war with us. Right, I'm going to try and get Zanzibar back. I'm hopeful that we're not about to lose a Valletta. Yeah. So Zanzibar is now at war with Victoria as well. Uh, actually, let's do the range attack first because I don't think it will kill them. And I wonder if I might get more experience for actually killing a unit. Although I don't think I'll manage to kill them this time either. Oh no, looks like they have. There we go. Probably doesn't equate to more experience, but always nice to have your troops finish them off, I suppose. Problem. Serious problem. It looks like we're going to need to take. I probably should have been aware of this, to be fair. Uh, oh, brilliant. I think. Yeah, let's just settle. The gamble's paid off. And we have created all. And they, in theory, have iron. Oh, brilliant. Maybe I should have moved over a bit. No mind, we'll see how it goes. They have iron. Believe it. Right. Okay. Okay. Right, Magdeburg is kind of out of most of the fighting at the moment. I am actually thinking I might start building a builder so that we can exploit the iron the second Ulm grows. Um, Ulm, of course, is going to have to build a crossbow man first. We're going to need it. Okay, so we need to attack the encampment before we attack London, ideally. So I'm going to move the crossbow man out of range of London. Okay, 
So the problem I'm going to have here... ...is going to be getting this catapult in range. I think... right. So if you go there... I don't really want to bring you in just yet. You, on the other hand, might be useful for actually attacking the encampment. So we're going to treat the encampment as a miniature city, in effect. That's brilliant. Uh, right, so I think we should move these guys straight into attack. We should move this crossbow over here because they'll still be in range. We should move a catapult to here to bring them in range, and I think between the three of these units we can hopefully overwhelm them. I'm going to move the warriors down one so that they're in range as well, although that's more just to make them an alternative target. The pikemen here I'm going to save for London. We'll see how that goes. Cologne has finished building city walls. I wonder if it will be worth them building a settler. Or if there's something else we should be building. Settler's going to cost 30 to build. Hmm. I'm not sure they've got any good places to build campuses. Not really. I'd rather use mountains than anything else. I have encampments, theatre squares, entertainment complexes. Do we have a mission relating to entertainment? That's Leventa. I'm not entirely sure I want. Um, to be their suzerain, per se. On the other hand... Yeah, this is the thing, entertainment's mostly about amenities. Which is probably better for the big cities. I'm honestly wondering if it's just... ...worth building one of those. Would it be worth building a... Uh, Theatre Square. Again, possibly for one of the bigger ones. I am thinking maybe we should have a third encampment or maybe a holy site. Not so indecisive that we're going to go with a settler. Let's build another city up here because we do have room for one. Ah, they've gone for the catapult. I obviously think the catapult's a bigger danger. Fair enough, it probably is. Okay, let's start with the catapult. Oh, that is pretty nasty, actually. Maybe I should have the general with the catapult instead. And there we go, we have the encampment. Next move, move on London I suppose, although it'd be nice to heal up first. Right, okay we could really do with another envoy. Unfortunately we're not very close. And we don't seem to have the option to build a Hansa.
Right, we're probably going to gain nothing from taking our time here. So let's go straight for one minute. you into the encampment, just to make sure we keep it. Although possibly it'd be better to have the crossbow men in the encampment thinking about it. Never mind, let's have a promotion. Zone of control. I might go for extra combat strength, actually. Should probably move these people into a city. I'll join Ethelred to. Catapult. Oh! I need to move my pipe men in. It's <sighs> been not paying proper attention. Incidentally, if we can pull this off, this will give us more iron. Okay, increase our farming output. It's not something I've ever made much particular moves towards, because I tend to only do improvements on squares with special resources. But if you put two farms together, you can gain an advantage. Oh, we've got feudalism. Excellent. So we should be able to get the stirrups. So, I do know I'm building some ancient walls at the moment, so I might actually go for that one. And the rest we can keep as is. boost towards stirrups. Okay, so we're in a formation. Hoping this will do a lot of damage. Nothing like as much as I was hoping for, I have to say. Still, the siege tower should mean that we can ignore the city walls and just kill the inhabitants. It might even allow us to take the city sooner without damaging it quite so much. Okay, choose a civic right? We have a plus towards mercenaries, which will give us an envoy. Brilliant. I'd like to get another envoy into Valletta because I'm. Pretty much terrified of anyone managing to turn them against us. She wants to make peace and she's offering a lot. I'm afraid I want London. It's part of our goal. And to be honest, in a lot of ways, I'd be better off wiping the English out. They're never going to like us now we've got one of the cities. There is almost no benefit. Uh, Common strength when defending. Combat strength versus land units. I'm thinking this might be good simply because we can start getting this. And defense is always useful. Okay, Memphis has built city walls and already has a crossbow. So let's build a temple because we really need to start sorting out the religious side of things. In fact, let's just see what we can build with faith in this city. Okay, we can get an apostle or we can get missionaries. Okay, so the the apostle, if you remember, is able to attack other missionaries and other apostles. And the guru is actually able to heal units when they've been attacked. So this is theological combat only. Obviously apostles are much more expensive than missionaries. Apostles also have the ability to cause a couple of other events. I might actually go for an apostle just to see what they can do. But we'll get a missionary as well. Let's keep the ranged attacks up. Still not in, but we've got a promotion available. 
Rats be able to attack again. Who is this? A barbarian settler. Okay, now that is a big opportunity. The barbarians have taken a settler and they've left them undefended. We really should try and pick that up if we possibly can. I don't know how easy that will be without a chariot. Because they probably won't come nearby out of choice. I'm suddenly thinking my chariot spent enough time defending a city and we should bring them down to try and get this settler. Okay. Uh, production in Leeds, so... Oh, Leeds doesn't need a chariot anymore either. Excellent. So Leeds has built a crossbowman and can now defend themselves. So let's repair the granary first, because that will take us very little time. Right, we have a missionary. Well, first, what could the Apostle do? So the Apostle has an instant promotion. Okay. Heaving conversion... Oh, that's interesting. They can convert barbarians. It gets less useful towards the end of a game. I'm less inclined to do that, though. If they die in theological combat, we get a relic, which is good towards a culture victory. Um, so not as useful for us. Can spread religion two extra times. That is quite useful. So, they'll be, in effect, these will become a super missionary for us. Well worth having. Okay, crossbowman, I want you to attack London again. Chariot, attack London. You know, I'm honestly thinking that London is done for. Can I move there? I can move there. I know I should really attack London, but um, I think I can just do it with this unit now. Have we completely defeated the English? Inspiration towards divine right. Aha! We've got more mines because we've taken London. I have a feel. Oh, we have! We have completely wiped out the English. Good start. And we're one step towards a domination victory. So we are definitely leading on the domination front. So we've captured one capital, no one else has captured any. There we go. So it looks like we've got four more opponents. We must have had five to start with. That must be the default. You can have more, depending how you set the game up. What I am concerned about is the science, because science can have an impact on how good your military is. <laughs> keep it. Yes, I will keep the city. I'm hoping, now that the English are gone, we can hold on to their cities forever with no real penalties. I suppose we may be considered a warmonger for declaring war. Holy site meeting house. Oh, we have a few things we can do. I think we should repair things first, to be honest. Okay, missionary. Missionary, right. So all of these cities in red are following the Catholic faith. Let me send a missionary to Mantz to sort them out. Remember, we're not actually trying to win with a faith victory, we're just trying to defend ourselves. Okay, we have two lots of silk. Cleopatra is offering us one gold for 30 turns in exchange for silk. No real objection to trading silk, but I think this is a really poor offer, so I'm going to refuse it. This is not like Cleopatra's our best friend or anything. She's probably going to be the next person we attack. She doesn't like us. She's denounced us. No particular inclination to do her any favours. 
Right, I am going to send an apostle to London. Let's try and convert London with our extra spread apostle. Okay. Still a bit healing up. to move out of London because I want this crossbowman who's got so much experience and so many promotions to be the one that defends London from now on. I think that's probably a good move. I really wish I could catch this settler somehow. Actually, the catapult should have an extra move because of the general. Maybe they'll have a chance. I don't want to drive him towards the Egyptians is the thing. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yep, still want to catch these barbarians. Could really use another settler. Settlers are very valuable. Just keep an eye on them, see where they go. Pikeman. Um, I'll take the melee units again, it just makes them more well-rounded. Try and move around the barbarians. So I'd love to encourage them to move in the other direction. Ah! Mance, right. Convert them to Catholicism. That's what we want. I'm gonna watch that Egypt doesn't think I'm trying to launch an attack on them. Oh, brilliant. I've hit the Renaissance era. Well, someone has. I'm not sure if we have. Oh, maybe we have. Knowledge of gunpowder. Just developed cartography. Okay, so feudalism gives us knights, but apprenticeship gives us the Hansa. We need the Hansa. Brilliant. Okay, Trier. Generally speaking, should still be trying to build military units. Military engineer. Might be useful, not something I've ever really looked into. Okay, we finally have the ability to make swordsmen. That's good, we've got a basic melee unit. Stockholm wants to be religiously converted. Well, we can try. But before we do anything else, Take that settler, that's brilliant. Okay. Okay, well, I wanted that settler, so that was the big thing, I think. I would really like to connect them. Yep. Yeah. Let's have that warrior defend that settler wherever they go. I don't know where I'm even going to put them, to be honest. There might be room up here, to be fair. I've definitely been building for a settler to go here. So, no, well, anyway, that's brilliant. We have wiped out the English. We're one step towards the domination victory that Frederick is so well suited for. Still considering taking Laventa militarily. Oh, there's a room for a settler down here, actually. Oh, well, we did promise not to settle too near the Egyptians. Then again, do we care that much? What they think of us. They are probably going to be our next big opponent. So we shall see. We'll see. I wonder if even Valletta might be worth taking once. You know, now we've no longer got any enemies anywhere near them. Although it'll certainly be a different, a difficult prospect. 
but we shall see. Lots of things to think about, but I think they're going to be for next time. But yeah, pleased with how it's going. Um, yeah, we can <laughs> basically mop up and decide where to send the army next and uh, hopefully build some cities up as well, work towards the science a bit more rather than immediately launching another attack. Hopefully Egypt isn't going to do what England did and send an undefended settler right in front of our noses to provoke us to another war. Brilliant, but whatever comes next, we will uh, we'll deal with it. I will see you next time.